Oh. And this is as much squirrel. This is the one that I ate. Oh, super good. Thanks for watching Morgan's World. Got the whole family with us. Hello, Haley. And Abel. And Abel and, and River. River. And Dexter in there too. We're gonna go explore a new area in Southern Oregon and we're going to also, we're gonna look for a gray squirrel. It's gray squirrel season here in Oregon and we're gonna see if we can shoot one and if we can shoot one, it's gonna turn into a catch and cook starring beautiful Haley. But it also may not turn into that. Maybe we'll find a geocache, who knows. Stay tuned. I won't hold you any longer. Let's get into this. So like literally, we're in the woods and there's this like log full of little critters and creatures. I don't know if it's like a geocache that got opened up or or what, but it's kind of weird, kind of cool. You see anything you want, Abel? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like a memorial. Wouldn't they put a cross? Let's grab a donkey. Nobody said we couldn't. You mean the goat? The goat? Where's the squirrel? Uh, we've been uh, up here for like 15, 20 minutes now. It's a good looking area for deer hunting, but have not seen jack in the way of squirrels, so, uh, or quail or grouse for that matter. So um, we're just gonna keep on trucking up. We might tie in, I don't even know where this goes, so see what happens, keep our eyes out. Hopefully something comes up. are gone. Yeah, the truck's loud, but eh, at least we saw something. <laughs> okay, got to be very careful. Okay, I'm gonna cock it. Ooh, close. Go ahead. Down. Right there. Go. Whoa, you were so close. Hold on. Try again. Whoa, keep going. Go ahead and shoot them all. That's it. Was that cool? Yeah. Hi. We're waiting for mama to shoot. There you go. If it went forward, it's, okay. it's live. Right at it. Hey Dex, get over here. <laughs> I'm gonna be very disappointed if I don't get this first shot. Oh, it's right in it. There's a hole in it. And that's how you shoot these, babe. Well, you got right over oh, it. Damn, Able. Dexter, shit. Good Ooh. shot. <laughs> you guys don't have smell o vision but it smells bad. <laughs> yeah, dude. Good job, Knuckles. That would have been a dead squirrel. In the tree. That is a good sized squirrel. Right and perfect shot. Good job. Now, let's go cook him. All right guys, well as you just saw, uh, we were just kind of cruising, doing ex some exploring for deer season when I go walking around. Uh, we saw some gray squirrels, parked the truck, got out, walked up, he went up a tree and that was his fatal mistake. He walked up the tree and I shot him right behind the shoulder. He dropped, tried to take off running. Dexter did not let that happen. Dexter went up and just pummeled him. We got ourselves a gray squirrel, gray squirrel. to cook. <laughs> We're gonna have Haley cooking it up next. We're gonna go a little farther up just to explore this. And if we see another squirrel, it's in the bag limit. So why not, you know, Gosh, add to the pot. Squirrel stew. <laughs> Boy and dog. <laughs> Abel, come on. 
<laughs> what do you got, Abe? A squirrel! What kind of squirrel is that? Oh. Uh, um, a gray squirrel. Good job. I don't know if you guys saw that gray squirrel, but he's the lucky one that got away, and a deer. I was trying to show you guys the difference between a ground squirrel and a gray squirrel, but ground squirrel uh, took off, so I'm kind of keeping my eyes open, but. <laughs> when it's alive, he's happy. We're gonna go down to the river real quick. This doesn't really involve this video much, but we wanted to get out of the house for a minute. We'll cut back in on the uh, catch and cook after a little montage of the river. So we're probably about wrapping up this rock trip. We're gonna head back. Haley did pretty good, as usual. The rest of us didn't do right. Got my. Those are real agates. Look, show them for a sec. Like that's a real agate. That's a good size one. Got that one, and then I have. I like this one. Uh, oh. Where's the brain one? The brain one. Is that what you're gonna call it? Mm -hmm. This that one. That is sick. Cool. The and then whatever these plants are smells super good like you could really make something great out of it well we are heading back home now we got rained out yeah got some cool agates but it is time to go <laughs> we are not prepared for this as you can tell it was wet out there oh boy did you get soaked you too all right guys, so we're heading back home. We're gonna go clean that squirrel and then cook it. I don't even know how we're gonna cook it yet. Stay tuned, we'll tell you how it tastes and how we did it. And as you can see, it is dumping rain out here. Got the windshield wipers on high. And uh, yeah, pretty crazy, pretty, uh, we timed it perfectly. We got to go get our squirrel, go to the river, play around for like 30, 45 minutes and started dumping on us as we were walking out of there, but can't really complain. I mean, I'm already almost dry, so. All right. All right, guys, today I'm gonna show you how to clean the gray squirrel. It's been honestly a long time for me. So I watched some YouTube videos and I think I can do this pretty quick with scissors. Uh, I grabbed some Ziploc bags. You're gonna want those. So scissors, bucket of water, Ziploc bag. We're gonna go ahead and dump them in. And since sometimes when you're dealing with guts and stuff, I recommend gloves it can get a little messy. And apparently when you dunk them in the water, it helps their hair tighten up so it doesn't get on the meat, which we don't want. And supposedly if you notch the scissors, it works better. I didn't notch mine because I didn't want Haley to kill me. All right, so apparently what we're gonna do here is we're gonna cut at the tail right at the base. Got that one. Guess I'll just put it in there. And then you cut the legs off at the joints, supposedly. Again, if you have notch scissors, supposedly it works better. I don't know if you guys saw, but I shot that guy like perfectly. I don't know why he didn't just die right away. He just didn't quite get deep enough, but he wasn't gonna last long. I'm glad Dexter was there though to help. to you pinch up the skin and then cut. And just, just get it started. And you'll see like an opening. And apparently you get your hands wet again and get some water in there. And then you literally just peel it both ways supposedly. So far, it's not working quite as easy as some of these guys make it look. This arm's pretty much shot, so that that's a bummer, but everything else is in good shape. Oh, God. Okay, the rear. Peel it down. This was a male. Okay. Now, supposedly, we just uh, cut right down this way. They say to cut it into the chunks so that if you give it to someone, it looks like a uh, 
good piece of meat rather than like a rat, which I kind of agree with. They are rodents. Okay, so there's that. So far coming out pretty easy. Easier than whatever I did in the past. You kind of got to deal with a little bit of guts there, I guess, so it's not totally true. And then cut it sideways. Boom. Throw that ugliness away so it doesn't look like a squirrel. And all of a sudden, you've got real meat, five pieces. So let's wash that off and should be good to go. We lost one of the pieces just because uh, the it got dirt in it and it was already bloodshot. So I uh, was pretty okay with letting it go. But anyways, this is what you get out of one Western gray squirrel. And uh, we're gonna cook it up next. All right guys, I'm Haley. And I am going to show you guys how to cook some squirrel. And this is as much squirrel as you get out of only one. So an Instant Pot is gonna be your best friend if you wanna make meals fast. It's basically a crock pot. It just makes it quicker. So, faster. You can still use your crock pot, but this is a quicker way to do it. The man cleaned it, can't you tell? I did try to wash it. We're eating like the most redneck food possible. I figured a few hairs wouldn't hurt. <laughs> I don't know if the pink mascara is gonna taste very good, but... Mm, I ball it maybe about quarter a cup. We got brown gravy and some mushroom gravy, salt, oregano, and some pepper. That's what we're gonna throw in here. And some pepper. This is cabbage. That looks like it. And then we got some onion we're gonna cut up and some potatoes. Just to add some other textures with it. We try to make them healthy. Here's the shit out of me. Why? Got it, babe. Mm -hmm. We're up. Oh. You want water so it doesn't burn the bottom because if you don't have enough water or liquids, it'll burn everything. Mm. Mason jar and a quarter. They usually have the measurements on them, so. This is a squirrel eating video. Hey. You better have a mason jar on hand. So then we'll do meat and stew, let it go for 25 minutes on more, and it shall start. Sweet, we'll see you in 25. I've been peeling apart the meat from the bone and it has not been easy. Stringy consistency. Sort of a greasy feel to it. Smells good to me. Haley said it smells funk. Soup looks good. All right, so like Abel's just ready to dive right on in, but the uh, squirrel, this is all we got out of it. And so we're gonna have that as like the kind of flavor piece and we're gonna eat the soup. What do you think, Abel? Dang. Do you like it? <laughs> What's it taste like? Me. Me. <laughs> Man, now I gotta jump in and have a piece. Oh, it's really good, really mild. This is tender this way. I'm just gonna put that in my soup and eat it. It's gonna be great. It smells almost like mushroomy, kind of wild. I like it. Thank you. Haley, what's your TikTok? Let's shout it out. Outdoor Haley Fisher. Outdoor Mommy too. Really? Yeah, Outdoor Mommy too. It sounds right. Oh, that's good. It tastes like healthy, all natural. I'm gonna try some squirrel with it. Like it? This is good. I'm not gonna say it's like chicken or beef good, but it's good. Like if you're hungry out in the woods, 
definitely great to have in the on the camping trip. Try one more here with a nice big chunk of back back strip meat. Oh, so hot. It's not the one I ate. That's, that's the one I ate. Oh, super good.